So in this video, we're going to talk all about PMR, polymyalgia rheumatica. And this video is perfect if you want the key signs to make sure that you can identify and diagnose this correctly in practice. Let's dive in. Hey guys, Khalid here. Welcome back to Clinical Physio. So what is polymyalgia rheumatica or PMR for short? Well, it's an auto-inflammatory condition, meaning that it's one in which the body's own immune system is reacting, which leads to symptoms. And those symptoms may include pain and stiffness. So why does it happen medically? Well, unfortunately, we still don't know. However, it does tend to present most commonly in the older age groups between 50 and 80, with the most consistent age being around 65 to 70. Now, it's also much more prevalent in women than men at a ratio of two to one. And a family history of polymyalgia rheumatica also does tend to influence whether future generations may experience it as well. So signs and symptoms, what are the key diagnosis tips we need to look out for to make sure we can identify this correctly in our practice? Well, first of all, we've just talked about the most prevalent age group and gender that we will find this in. The most common patient is more likely to be female around the age of 65 to 70. But by far the most common physical symptom you're going to see is bilateral shoulder pain. And this is really interesting because there aren't that many other conditions in which we expect to see bilateral shoulder pain. Now, it's so consistent with PMR that many researchers suggest that if the pain is only present in one shoulders, not both shoulders, PMR is far less likely as a diagnosis. Now, as well as the bilateral shoulder pain, other symptoms may include bilateral hip or pelvic girdle pain. And another the key thing to look out for is early morning stiffness, particularly if it presents for at least 45 minutes. And that's why it's really important that we ask our patients, what are your symptoms like first thing in the morning? And if they do report pain and stiffness, how long does that last for? As you can see, fundamental to diagnosing this condition. So with PMR being an auto-inflammatory condition, we also expect it to follow similar characteristics to other auto-inflammatory conditions. So that includes a family history of inflammatory pathology or that early morning stiffness, as we've mentioned already in the video. Other things may include that they feel some improvement in their symptoms and stiffness when they're moving and a worsening in their stiffness when they're at rest, particularly at night when they're going to be in the same position for a long period of time. So look out for those patients who say that they really struggle to get back to sleep for two to three to four hours at a time. We're also thinking about patients who may have some small improvements with anti-inflammatory medications and also those who present with other autoimmune conditions at the same time, such as Crohn's disease or uveitis or iritis, which is inflammation of certain structures within the eye. So look out for those. They may also point us towards a diagnosis of PMR. So on to treatment. How is this managed in practice? Well, as physiotherapists, there's a couple of things we can do. We can always talk to patients about activity modification, about pacing, or perhaps by doing very small, simple exercises to keep moving, because as we said, their symptoms are better on the move rather than at rest. But ultimately, the main form of treatment for polymyalgia rheumatica as a whole is the provision of oral steroids by a patient's GP. And therefore, as a result, the main thing that we need to consider if we do diagnose PMR from our assessment is to refer the patient to see their GP so that they can be considered for those oral steroids, as we mentioned. The most common one you'll see being provided is prednisolone. So once again, if you hear those signs, think PMR, refer to the GP, write a letter or give them a ring so you can give the patient the main treatment that they need. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I really hope that it means that you'll have better understanding of diagnosis points for PMR in the future. If you'd like to see more of our stuff, please support us by smashing that like button, subscribe to the channel for more updates and follow us on Instagram at Clinical Physio. Check out our website, clinicalphysio.com. My name's Khalid. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon here on Clinical Physio.